Now purchase module begins with purchase request. So there's a purchase request functionality. Now purchase request in SAP can be generated through three means. The first one is a manual purchase request or purchase intent. The second one is a reorder level automated purchase request. Now what do I mean by that? Is for every medical equipment or items that you have, you can basically have something called as a reorder level or a minimum stock level. What happens if the stock goes below the reorder level, then you can configure the system to create an automatic purchase request. The third one is basically an MRP driven purchase request. So MRP is nothing but material requirement planning. So when you run the MRP cycle, it basically checks all the open sales orders. What's the stock available? What is the minimum stock that needs to be maintained? What is delivered to customer and what is available in the pipeline? That is the purchase pipeline. And it finally tells you what needs to be procured for the next 30, 60, 90 days. And that's, and if an P, if an purchase request is generated because of that, so it's an MRP generated purchase request. Once a purchase request is generated, you also have an RFQ module, request per quote. You can convert the purchase request either to a request per quote, which can be published and sent to multiple vendors for collecting the prices, or you can convert it into a PO. Now let us look at uh, RFQ, which is request for quote. <clears throat> As I said, the RFQ feature in SAP Business One is a functionality which helps you to send a single purchase request to multiple vendors and the vendor receives a link or a mail. He can go into the link and feed in the prices and quantities and basically submit and SAP gets back those information on a single screen and shows you the comparison of all the vendors by price and by delivery date. Meaning to say, who is the vendor who is the most economical or the less priced one and who is the vendor who is the earliest on delivery. So the system is trying to help you to make a decision on who is the best on price and who is the best on delivery. You can make your decision and convert the RFQ results into an PO, which will once again can go for an approval. In the PO, you can add your terms and conditions. You can have multiple terms and conditions for different kind of vendors, even that is possible. Once the PO is approved, you can have it mailed to the supplier and the supplier based on it can send you the material for which in SAP Business One, you will do a goods receipt and that's the next functionality. We call it goods receipt against purchase order. Generally, the industry calls it goods receipt note or GRN. The GRN might be partial or full. When I say partial, the order quantity might be 10 numbers. If you receive five, so five is entered into your uh, system and gets added to your inventory. Whereas the other five is open as an purchase order. After you receive the material to a GRN, there's something called as incoming inspection. So you can also subject your material to inspection and whichever are goods which are qualified and okay to go, you basically move to a production warehouse. The rest rejected once basically goes to a quarantine warehouse. Based on this, you have the next module, which is accounts payable invoice or AP invoice. In this module, whichever are the goods which are cleared for payment basically comes up and you can create the AP invoice for those items and an invoice for the supplier gets booked. The countdown for the payment starts based on the credit terms. There is also an advanced payment functionality available by which you can have the supplier paid in advance after which you can receive the material. The advance can be either a full advance or a partial advance paid. Both the functionalities are available. And if there's a return involved, then the returns module is also available. As I told in sales function, Purchase function also has approval and the approvals can either come to your laptop or desktop and even your mobile phones.